Yo, what is going on everyone? Z Karma here and welcome back to another top 10 video here in Borderlands 3. This time around we are dealing with the top 10 assault rifles. All of the weapons on this list are amazing on Mayhem 10 and I strongly encourage you to use them. They do work better on some characters more than others, but they are still very strong regardless. Keep in mind that these weapons are in no specific order. In this video, I will first show you where you can farm the weapon and then give you a little description with some gameplay in the background. So before I get into this video, if you found it informative or helpful in any way, a like rating is always appreciated and if you want to subscribe for more content like this, that'll be awesome as well. Starting off this list, we have the Boom Sickle. This is a Vladov assault rifle that drops from the Warden. He is located at the Anvil on Eden 6. Go to the marked location on the map in order to farm him. Getting the sickle is not very hard, however, you have to find the boom variant. The drop rate for the boom sickle feels extremely low, and getting a good anointment on top of that is even more rare. Regardless, this weapon is a monster. It shoots like a shotgun, but it's an assault rifle. It can also be any element and deals a ton of damage. It is good for both mobbing and bossing, but it works best on Moe's because it deals splash damage. And the best anoint on this weapon will be the 100% elemental anoint. Unfortunately, it cannot roll with the splash damage anoint, but the 100% elemental will work very well. Moving on, we have the contained blast. This weapon drops in DLC 3 from Abadoxes. This enemy is located at the Ashfall Peaks on the marked location on the map. This weapon can come in any element. When you shoot this weapon, it will shoot two shots at a time, and one of them will be a sticky. When you reload, they explode. It can also come as a times 2 variant, and this one will shoot out 4 shots at a time, two of them will be stickies. The best anointment for this weapon is the 200% splash anoint, and this weapon works best on Moe's or Flak. Still does a really good job on Amar and Zane, so don't let that discourage you from farming this weapon. It is definitely extremely underrated, and I think people should give it a chance. Moving on, we have the Clairvoyance. This one drops in DLC number 2, and the drop source is Critchy. Critchy can be found at the Curse Haven at the spot on the map. Use the Withernaught Cemetery Fast Travel Point for the closest spawn. This is a Jacob's Assault Rifle that deals cryo damage. Critical hits will create stickies that will explode after a short time and ricochet to nearby enemies. It is very good for mobbing purposes and it deals a decent amount of damage. Additionally, you can either use the masher variant, which will be times 4, but there will be a penalty to your fire rate. So you also want to try out the full auto variant. Both are really good, it will just depend on your preference. Moving on, we have the Rowan's Call. Yes, this weapon. It drops from Red Rain at the Slaughter Star 3000. And this is a really annoying farm, so if I were you, I would just hope for a world drop. This gun is insane. I have always been a big fan of this weapon, and I do have a little bit of a biased approach here. Critical hits will ricochet two bullets and return two to the magazine. So essentially, you can shoot for very long periods of time without even having to reload. You can also create additional projectiles with bonus elements, so 100% element on your weapon, plus 50% on your grenade, and 50% of your shield. The two ricochet projectiles will turn into 8, creating this insane interaction with the huge mobbing potential. Definitely one of the best assault rifles you can use in my opinion. Just keep in mind, this weapon is exclusively a mobbing weapon. If you want to deal with single targets, I highly encourage you to match elements, otherwise you will barely tickle single target badass enemies. Moving on, we have the Stone Thrower. This is an assault rifle that drops in DLC 3 from Cormax. He is located at the Ashfall Peaks at this location on the map. Once there, just slide down and you can farm him to get this weapon. This assault rifle is very similar to the Clairvoyance, which we just touched on. When you hit body shots with this weapon though, bullets will ricochet to nearby enemies. But when you hit critical hits, it does not. Very odd considering it is a Jacob's weapon. So, when you are dealing with more than one enemy, I recommend that you hit body shots for those ricochets. And when you deal with single targets, go for those critical hits, since you will do a lot more damage. However, Amara does have indiscriminate, so with Amara, I would just suggest you go for crits all the time. Regardless, this weapon is extremely good, performs really good on flak, and I would suggest a 100% elemental anoint if possible. Moving on, I have two weapons which I will talk about at once, the no pew pew and the OPQ system. 
Both of them are incredible assault rifles. These are some of the best weapons in the entire game. However, it is very unfortunate because you cannot get them anymore. Both of these dropped during the Revenge of the Cartel seasonal event, so hopefully in the future we are able to farm for these weapons again. Regardless, even stuck at level 57, they still are, in my opinion, within the top 3 assault rifles in the entire game. Moving on, we have the Eruption. This weapon drops at the Slaughter Shaft from the final boss. He is really easy to kill, however, the Slaughter Shaft is no walk in the park, especially on Mayhem 10. What makes this weapon so good is that every time you reload, this weapon shoots out 8 projectiles that will debuff enemies by 20% each for 7 seconds. So this means that you will do 160% extra damage after reloading. However, you can cancel your reload and just spam a ton of these to get an insane damage boost that ends up killing even the strongest enemies. Definitely a great weapon that has a well deserved spot on this list. Now when you debuff enemies, most of the time you're gonna want to switch to a weapon that can deal more damage. Moving on, we have the Soul Render. This is a doll assault rifle that drops from Tom Exam in DLC number 2. These enemies are located at the Heart of Desire, located at this location on the map. This weapon is amazing for mobbing. Although it can lack power when it comes to single targets depending on the character you're using, when it comes to mobbing in general, it does a very decent job. Although, personally, this isn't a weapon I would use in the takedown at all. Other than that, it destroys any area in the game. When you shoot this weapon, it has a chance to send some skulls flying that home in on targets. This weapon can be very helpful against enemies that are moving around a lot because you don't need perfect aim in order to hit your shots, since those flying skulls will aid you in doing damage. The anointment that I recommend for this weapon is either the consecutive hits anoint or the 100% elemental. It will all depend on your build. And now ladies and gentle boys, for the strongest assault rifle in all of Borderlands 3, I know all of you know which one is coming. This is the Dictator. Yes, this is the best in the game and drops from Agonizer 9000. Alright, that was a lame joke, whatever, it is the Monarch, what a surprise right? After creating a poll, I knew it was going to be one sided, <laughs> I just had to give it the top spot. This weapon drops from Kilovolt located at Lectris City on Promethea, head to the marked location on the map in order to farm for this weapon. The Monarch can come as any possible element and it can be either a x4 and a x8 variant. There is also an alternate firing mode called bipod mode which will double your damage at the cost of movement speed. Sometimes this can be inconvenient, however, the weapon's DPS will certainly make up for it. This is a really good option for the Guardian takedown, and if you get your hands on one, getting a monarch with a good anointment can be very tedious, but if the RNG gods are on your side, this weapon will shred anything. I recommend you use this one with either a consecutive hits anointment or a 100% elemental. If you want a boss with the Mara, you can take the 250% face cast, and Zane, of course, you can take your Sentinel Cryo if you're using your Sentinel. Regardless of the anointment you get, this weapon is still insane. Even if you get a garbage anoint times 8 variant, it'll still shred most things in the game. So anyways guys, that's going to be it for the top 10 assault rifles in Borderlands 3. Let me know what you guys think, is there any other assault rifles you think deserved at least an honorable mention here? Leave it down in the comments below. So anyways, if you guys found this helpful or entertaining in any way, a like rating is always appreciated, and if you want to subscribe for more content like this, that'll be awesome as well. Have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.